Bonjour, and welcome to another edition of Google Truth or Lies. Google Truth or Lies is free SEO advice based on the most rigorous scientific testing that we do in Underground SEO University. If you want to join Underground SEO University, just send me an email at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. So let's dive into what we're taking a look at today. Here we are back for another round on our friend Barry Schwartz's site, where he claims that there was a Google search ranking update on January 11th. It was unconfirmed. There's something very important about this that I want to talk about that I don't, don't think a lot of people talk about. And then also go on here. It's the same topic that uh, Barry is reporting that John Mueller, uh, Gary Ilyish, and uh, Martin Split, that's the guy's name, uh, from Google, they make this podcast where they joke around and talk and they're really cool guys and yada yada and they're talking blah 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 and they're all hip and cool and whatnot, I guess kind of. Uh, as hip and cool as nerds such as myself and them about search can be, so not very cool at all really when it comes down to it. But, however, the, the point is on this podcast, they were talking about uh, how Google decides to make uh, core update announcements. And uh, there was some debate on this show, and Gary Ilyish, uh, was uh, one of these Google employees, was quite uh, adamant that he was uh, seemed to be a little bit annoyed. In fact, uh, Barry here, here he is. I'm Barry. He picked up that it looked like uh, Gary was uh, a little bit annoyed at that Google doesn't say more about these core updates. So the question is, does Google say enough about these core updates? Do they announce the core updates? Is this helpful information or should they just stop announcing these core updates? This is a bit more philosophical, a bit more of my opinion and not what we've scientifically tested. But uh, I like to think that this is a view that is important uh, that you should consider. The first question is, does Google announce their core updates? Bing, yeah, they do. We just talked about it right there. They're talking about how they do. The question is, is it useful for, this is the most important question though. Is it useful for Google to announce their core updates? Survey says, yes, it is useful for them to announce their core updates, but only slightly. It's the tiniest little yes. It's the tiny little thumb. It's a little blue blue thumb. It's the tiniest little yes possible. 98% of the time when they say, as Gary says here in the article, when they announce a core update, it just says, we're making a core update. We can't tell you what it's about. If you want some suggestions, tough crap and go and die. That's basically what they say. I'm paraphrasing slightly, only slightly though. So that's not helpful at all, as Gary seems to be frustrated about. He's totally right to be frustrated there. We're frustrated too, more than he knows actually, because people in SEO have lost their jobs and people have lost their businesses because Google's decided not to tell us what to do to fix things. It's a little bit more serious than just, oh, Jiminy Jillikers. <laughs> oh, oh gee shucks. Google won't tell us what the ranking algorithms are and or how to fix our sites or how to improve them to make them better. They won't give any specific advice. It's people are getting fired, people are losing their jobs, people are losing their livelihood. So no, it's not a Jiminy Jillikers, it's not a gee shucks kind of a deal. It's a little bit ethically, a little bit more important than that. But occasionally to defend Google now, surprisingly, to defend Google now, sometimes they do tell us what the core update is about. For example, on December 1st in 2021, or around December, the beginning of December, they announced that they did their new product review artificial intelligence core update. And then they give us a list of very specific things you can fix. Check back for previous videos. I've talked about that. I think it was my first video, I think, of this new format, this new Google Truth or Lies. So that was very helpful. So it's false, bing. It's false to say that, that they shouldn't talk about the core updates. And it's false to say that it doesn't help us sometimes. Sometimes it's very useful. That smaller list of product related things tells us if we were hit on that date, well then clearly that's where uh, one area where we should start looking. However, at Underground uh, SEO University, where we scientifically test all Google's claims and the ranking factors, we have found that Google is a little dastardly, unsurprisingly, I'm sure you're like, no duh, Josh. And they quite often layer updates on top of each other so that we, literally me, I have a harder time reverse engineering what, they, what they're doing. It doesn't stop me, however. But it does make it uh, more, it makes it more spicy, let, let me put it that way. More sauce for the goose, uh, Mr. Savick. What movie was that from? What movie was it from? What was the actor's name that th th that actor was talking to? Don't Google it. If you can tell me in the comments or an email, I'll give you a free five minute SEO advice. Anyway, don't Google it. I'll know if you Googled it. So the core update announcements are useful and ethically it's the very least Google could do. In fact, they could do far, far more. And when they do specify what they're updating, that is useful and it's the only time when it is useful. However, does that mean that all the SEOs out there should hang off of Google's every word 
and uh, Barry's uh, random guesses as to when there's been an unconfirmed update, and then worry about this, doom whore about this, gossip about this, bitch and moan about this. The survey says, uh, no, false. They should definitely not be doing those things. Basically, at, at Underground SEO University, we almost ignore Google entirely. Like 99.9% .9 of the time we ignore Google. The only time I ever pay attention to what Google is saying is when I come on the, the, the camera to do these silly videos. When we're testing uh, the black box of SEO, we treat it like the black box of nature. And we don't listen to anything Google says because that might change our hypotheses about what is actually going on. So we test, we might listen a little bit to, to structure our test to see uh, this claim or that claim. But really at the end of the day, we don't care when there's an update. The core updates are almost always the same these days. They're updates to their artificial intelligences. So if you don't understand machine learning, if you don't understand natural language processing, if you don't understand transformer encoder decoders, if you don't understand uh, how the data fits into Google's models and then what they can rank off based off of that for images, for uh, web pages, in terms of the design of the web pages, in terms of the text, in terms of the keywords, uh, in terms of the entities you should be using. If you don't understand any of that, you're not gonna be ranking at all. So you definitely don't wanna worry about Google's core updates from the sense that, oh no, uh, you know, the sky's falling. That's a stressful way of living. It's not really great. It's not really a useful way of spending your time and it's not really a useful way to conduct yourselves as an SEO. But uh, you should definitely be doing testing instead. You should definitely join Underground SEO University. If you don't know how to do the testing, email me at joshpashinsky at gmail.com and we'll get you set up for all of the ways you can dominate your competition using algorithms and ranking on things you never even knew they were tracking. So are the core updates useful? Yes, they are. Uh, it'd be even more useful if they told us some more information. Thank you. And sometimes they do. So the claim that they shouldn't be doing this is totally false. We're happy at least for those little scraps, the little scraps that Google throws to us from their table. At least it keeps some of us uh, fed some of the time. So this has been Google Truth or Lies. If you have any SEO questions at all, please feel free to email me. I'd love to try to help you out at joshbashinsky at gmail.com, and we'll see you next time.